Hello and welcome to some dirt racing here. Some dirt oval racing here at Lincoln Speedway. We are in the limited late model. And, uh, hey, I figured uh, I had some fun with the K5 Championship Season 4, which was in the regular late model, I guess is what you would call it. I think? Pro late model? Something like that. <laughs> I'm obviously not too experienced with dirt racing, so uh, <laughs> pardon me there. But I uh, wanted to do some here today. I had fun in that series, learned a little bit, and uh, we'll see what we can do in the limited late model here at Lincoln. So, we've got about 10 seconds here before qualifying starts, and uh, we're going to go ahead and qualify, I think. Do we want to qualify? I don't know. We're already seeing some incidents here in... Hmm, in practice. Do we want to hang back a little bit? It's only 30 laps, and we don't have cautions. So I think I'm going to go ahead and qualify. It's a little bit too dangerous, I think, to put myself at the back uh, when, uh, you know, there are no cautions. So we're going to qualify. We're going to try. And uh, who knows, we'll probably end up at the back anyway. But that's all right. We are the number 8 in a 12-car field. It is top split, but not too many people signed up. But uh, it's nice being one of the higher card numbers for once here in Dirt Oval. And, uh, well, we'll do our best. We'll see what we can get out of this and have, and have some fun, hopefully, at the same time. So, getting a feel for what the track is telling us. Right here, right now. Wasn't quite sure what the auto-generated track state was going to look like. P3. Probably going to be real slow. I really don't know where on the track I should be running right now, to be honest. But we're going to run laps and see what happens. New fastest lap for Wozniak. It's like the second uh, lap counted is going to be the better one. The Two tenths off the fastest guy right now. Not too surprising. Don't really know where I need to be running. So I was kind of just guessing <laughs> that whole time around the track. So probably going to start at the back, but we're ahead of a couple people right now. Not too bad. It's looking like everybody might be qualifying too, so we might be uh, heading straight to the race here before too long. No heat race structure or anything. We're just uh, got qualifying and then the main event. Now, hopefully it'll be a nice clean race. Hopefully we'll have the chance to get some laps in. Don't really know what to expect. But at the very least, I can get some uh, experience. So that'll be a good thing. I think that low line is usually the one that's uh, uh, the fastest, but... You know, the track state is a little bit different, so who knows if maybe it's not the fastest way around right now. I think I might need to be a little easier on throttle. That might help me out a little bit. Especially as we're entering on the slick part of the track here into the corner. Oh wow, the nose pushed really bad there. Don't want that. I don't know. We're just going to try to be consistent, keep the car clean, and uh, start P7. Hopefully finish, you know, right around there. If we finish right around there, we're about where we're expected to finish. So let's just try to maintain or improve our qualifying spot. I think that's a solid goal to set. And uh, even if we just have a clean race, that's pretty good too. The estimated SOF is 3,000. Estimated SOF is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit too high. Looks like Race Lab says 2.9k for the strength of field. Still pretty high though, especially for me and my itty bitty 2.2k I rating here on Dirt Oval. Has me as the eight car. We have a fast repair, which is interesting. Hopefully, don't need to use it, but it is there. One car going up and we need to follow actually rear-ending somebody? In the inside What's lane. happening? Hopefully it's a clean race. 
like I said, I don't really know what to expect here. I don't really race this series very often. This might be like the second race I've ever done in the limited late model. Obviously, I've done the league races, but you can expect a little bit cleaner racing in those typically compared to official. But maybe this will be good. Who knows? Lincoln's a, a fun little track here. Some funky corners, seems like. Get ready, going green. And we'll see what we can do. We'll try to get a good view of this three car. Ace car's off very early. window clean but they're all running into each other oh, where that guy's going he's in the wall oh my goodness it's blinking out in front of us no idea where that guy is they're wrecking I see all kinds of nonsense happening behind us Contact from I don't know where. Well, this has really kicked off. Car stopped up high. Car stopped up high. Really what you want to hear. Making me a little nervous. We got cars slamming into the wall. I think that car's broken. The one dodging him. That guy going down and hitting the inside wall, it looked like, almost. Oh my goodness, this is chaos. Some guys are leaving already. I'm just now feeling like I can hit the lines how I want to. Nose is pushing really bad there. That was terrible. Got someone slow down low. I assume they're probably broken in a lap down. Yes, they are. So they are bringing their broken car around the track. It's looking like the high line might be where guys want to be. So let me try that out, I suppose. Right rear right into that grippy part of the track. Oh, uh, nose is pushing so bad. Not doing a very good job of preventing that. The car in front has just done a 16.5. Sixth place. This high line doesn't work for me. I might just have to move back down lower. I think that's that broken guy again. Yeah, he's just... <laughs> he was just trying to get as many laps in as he could, I guess. Group P6, though. I'll definitely take that. I'm okay with this. We've survived so far. Not exactly hitting blazing laps, I don't think, but... We're here. And we're, we're racing, theoretically. Try a couple different things. Let me try this low line, see if there's anything here. Maybe. Maybe not. Blood well, keeps getting on my windshield right in my viewpoint. I think we probably want to be up higher up for it. Looks like. So, okay, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to catch anybody else. We got the one ahead, 1 1.2 seconds. We'll see if me underdriving it maybe helps our tires out a little bit. Oh, well, tires are more of a thing now in dirt racing than they ever have been in the past. Hey, that was pretty good. That turn was... Uh, a lot better than last lap. Maybe getting the hang of this a little bit. Alright, improvement. I'm seeing improvement. About all I can ask for here. Let's keep getting some green on the top of the screen there. 
Cruiser, 16.5. Okay, okay. Ooh, nose pushing. That was less good. Okay, Colton, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. You've just done a 16.7. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm not very good. Very inconsistent. But they're kind of starting to stack up on each other up there. That could be our ticket to some more spots if uh, we can get around whatever they're up to. Coming to 13 to go. So still quite a few laps. Things to happen. He should be good behind us. The guy behind isn't catching at all. Oh my goodness. That guy's blinking outside of the track. He's hitting the wall hard. He's got to be careful because I know the wheels like to pop off these things now. I don't know if they actually, maybe they might have changed that since I was last familiar with it, but that could just be his net code as well, considering he's teleporting out to the hot dog stand outside. They're kind of running up against the wall. Been able to keep it out of the wall so far. I'd like to keep it that way, even if it does make you faster sometimes. And if he is hitting that wall, he's really getting away with it. A little bit too sideways. Good exit there. Got some cloud cover. Not sure how that affects dirt racing, if at all. I'm more familiar with... Ooh, oh no, I hit the wall on the tree. I really messed up a corner. More familiar with the paved stuff and what that means for the track. I don't know if the cloud cover does anything for dirt racing. Maybe we'll experiment down low again. Just be the one willing to try that. Hey, that was actually kind of fast. The gap to Albert ahead is increasing. It's now. Nine seconds. Hmm. Might be something to that, at least in the first two corners. Not sure about over here. It's looking a little bit faster for us. We'll keep doing this for a little bit. Five to go. It's going well. Uh oh. It's going well. Keep at it, he says as I slap the wall. Really just be careful, not do too much. P6 finishing position where we're at right now would be pretty solid. Just done at I think there is more speed down in this low line, but I'm just not capable of hitting it very well, I don't think. Move back up top and see how it compares temporarily. Yeah, that is uh, that is much better compared to the last lap. Two more. There Sorry about that, man. I didn't mean to hit the number nine. You're all good. This has been a pretty good race, though. It was pretty scary at the start, but it seems like guys are being pretty respectful. Later in the race, we're not close enough to any guys to experience any of the potentially respectful racing, but. I've made it this far, at least. One more to go. That was a 16.7. The gap to Mead in front is now 2.2. Uh, we will get ourselves a P6. So right in the middle of the field, a 12-car field. And as the 8-car, I will definitely take it. P6, and there's the finish. The Good result, mate. Well done. All right. Great job. Nice really clean well. race. Good race. Go ahead and park it. Not bad at all. What are the tires saying? 92.85. I guess it's more the rear tires you have to worry about and think about. And dirt racing, right? So, 
No idea if that's good or not compared to other guys. I'm usually pretty harsh on the rear tires, so I have to imagine I was probably harsh on them there, but that's okay. Achieved the goal. Starting uh, seventh, we were able to move forward a spot and uh, kept it clean, too. So we've got an estimated 23 I rating from it and uh, improving our safety rating on the dirt oval side as well. Good stuff. Let's see what did happen. Probably a couple bits of contact early on. Some guys finding each other on exit of the corner, looks like. At the six, that's when he found the inside wall. Or uh, I think that was a different time, maybe, because I remember seeing somebody get the inside wall. Ooh, something happened there. Uh, I don't know enough about dirt oh, to be able to call that on anybody. I'm not sure. It looks like the six is pretty high up the track. Maybe the one thought he was going to clear him. But he also has a little bit of room outside, but it's kind of a weird corner. So I'm just going to... Oops. I really clicked out the screen. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say, I don't know much about a dirt oval, so I can't really make a good determination there. Now, this was weird. <laughs> this was very weird. I saw this in my rear view, just out of my peripheral, and I'm like, what on earth? So he, it's like he... It's like he goes down to cut low, and he's like, he realizes he's headed straight for the inside wall. So he turns hard right instead, and then he's right, right in the path of this nine. And then they just absolutely KO each other. The, the six here goes upside down. That was kind of weird. From my peripheral, it looked like he just full throttled the corner, which uh, was pretty strange. But thankfully, we were able to... Avoid being a part of any of that. Here's the five from second place. That's a guy we never would have beat otherwise, but he uh, destroys his car. And then a uh, couple bit of contact here as they're avoiding him. Then we jump ahead to lap seven. Looks like we got a little bit of wall there from the lead. And then the three was the guy blinking a whole bunch, I think. Not much to see there. Five, I assume, trying to get a quick repair, but can't quite get into a stall. I don't know what that was, but maybe that's him trying to uh, maneuver. A little bit of right rears in the wall. We got a pass for a second. Four slides it hard as the three gets the wall. Is the three going to send it back? No, he's going to go high and blink a little bit. I think the, is the 11 broken? No, he's okay. He just got the wall. And then, uh... I think most of the end of this race, it's probably just going to be the fast guys using the right rear to bounce uh, themselves off the wall a little bit, and probably the three blinking. Because uh, I think the end of this race, for the most part, was pretty, pretty uh, clean. Yeah, so that was it. Alright, that was a fun race. I enjoyed that. I'm glad I uh, chose to take part. We'll take a look at the race results screen and all the data that provides. That'll be up in here in just a second. Alright, here we go. So 29-28 strength of field. You can see the two car gets the win. Surprised that the one car wasn't uh, just dominating the field. He has 8,102 dirt oval I rating. So he's the kind of guy you would think was lapping the field, but he gets himself a uh, still respectable fourth place down there. Just a couple spots ahead of us, where we get our mid-pack finish in 6th. We'll get 23 dirt oval I rating, and just a smidge of the safety rating as well, as we're in the 4.5 area right here. So, alright, that's going to do it for that one. Thanks for joining me for some dirt oval racing. Uh, I really should do more of it. It's fun stuff. I just uh, never think to click over to that tab, I guess. <laughs> dirt oval. Uh, I'm always looking at the, what oval races are running, but uh, got to change my mindset because that was some uh, that was good good fun. I enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed it too, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.